Now we're going to look at alternate methods of creating the circular pattern of holes and you'll get an introduction to using the rollback bar. First let's look at the ease of editing this part. We can change the width of the pulley by editing sketch 1 and if we did we wouldn't have to modify the hole or circular pattern. In fact we could make significant changes to sketch 1 and the holes would automatically update to the changes. We can also edit sketch 2 to change the diameter or location of the hole. Another way to do this is to double click on the surface of the hole. Now the dimensions on the sketch are visible. Double click the diameter of the hole and then change it to 875 thousandths of an inch. Now rebuild the pulley by clicking the rebuild command. Now let's change the number of holes in the pattern to 4. Click the pattern and then edit it. Change the count to 4 and then apply your changes by typing the enter key. Now let's consider alternate methods of creating these holes. We could have drawn four circles on sketch 2 and then extruded all four holes through the pulley. But with the commands you know so far it would be difficult to change the number of holes in the pattern. We started out with three holes and it would take quite a bit of work to add the fourth circle and then make all the circles equally spaced. So it's easy to see that making a single hole and then using the circular pattern command makes the features easier to edit. Now I'm going to show you how to make the same pattern using the two dimensional circular pattern command and then we'll explore editing both methods. We'll start by using the rollback bar to remove the holes from the model. Drag the rollback bar above cut extrude 1. This rolls the construction of the model back to just after the fillet was added. You can save the file in this state and you can add new features to the model. We're going to use the rollback bar to create alternate designs of the model. We'll use the two dimensional circular pattern on a new sketch, we'll extrude three holes and then we'll add fillets to all the holes. Once we've done that we'll change the number of holes from 3 to 4. Create a sketch on the outer surface of the pulley. Sketch 3 is below the rollback bar but as you recall sketches are normally below the bar when you first create them. Hide Revolve 1 and now you can see that the sketch is moved above the bar. Set the view to a normal view and then draw a line from the origin to the left. Set the line to a construction line and then draw a circle on the end of the line. Set the diameter of the circle to 1 inch and the length of the line to 1 and an eighth inches. Confirm that the sketch is fully defined and then click the down arrow next to the linear sketch pattern command and select the circular sketch pattern command. The first step is to select the axis for the pattern. Select the node on the origin. Now click in the entities to pattern window and then select the circle. There are a few more parameters in this command but you'll typically use the default settings. Most of these settings are used to shift the center of the pattern. For example you can use the spinner control to shift the center of the pattern along the X axis. You can also type a value in the window. This setting shifts the center of the pattern along the Y axis and this is the count. Set it to 3. The included angle is set to 360 degrees because the equally spaced option is checked. This option changes the radius of the pattern and this option changes the location of the center of the array based on an angle. I recommend that if you use sketch patterns you control the center of the pattern using sketch geometry and dimensions. You'll find that this is a more direct method of controlling the center of the array and it will be easier to edit if you do this. Once you've applied these settings, type the enter key to add the pattern. Now the sketch is underdefined. The easiest way to fully define a sketch pattern is to fix the location of one of the entities. 
Select the node on the center of one of the circles and then add a fixed relation to the node. This fixes the location of the node on the sketch and fully defines the pattern. When we modify the pattern, we'll have to remove the fixed relation. Exit the sketch and then unhide Revolve 1. Now open the extruded cut command. Select the line Set the end condition to through all and then type the inner key. Now open the fillet command and then add 32,000 fillets to all the holes. So far it's taken longer to create this pattern of holes and it will take a great deal of time to change the number of holes from 3 to 4. When we do this, SolidWorks will issue an error and I'll show you how to work through errors when you receive them. We'll do this in the next lesson.